truth is out. How former President Ulusegu Ubasanjo was allegedly exposed for buying appeal court over ruling with 30 million naira during his tenure. A classified diplomatic cabal from Wikil Leak has revealed allegations that prominent Nigerian lawyer Chief Affair Baba Lola and former President Ulusegu Obasanjo orchestrated a, a 204 court of appeal decision that allowed the Adamawa state governor Boni Aruna to retain his position. The diplomatic cabal reportedly described how a lawyer representing Governor Aruna worked under Afel Babalola admitted that the favorable court of appeal verdict was secured in typical Nigerian style with money buying and money settlement. The lawyer disclosed that President, Bola, President Ulusegu Ubasanjo instructed Affair ba, Balola to handle the appeal and provided funds for the case. The lawyer further claimed to have been present during the delivery of 30 million naira, approximately 225,000 dollars, to which of the five tribunal judges, though he could not confirm if additional sums were disbursed. This is standard procedure in significant case. The lawyer reportedly stated, as quoted in the Wikileak documents. And so the Boni, Boni Aruna, a lawyer, a lawyer member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Basanjo's political party at the time, governed Odemawa State from 1999 to the year 2007. So recently, Afe Babalola has drawn criticism for allegedly using the Nigerian police to detain human rights lawyer Dele Farutimi in Lagos State, an act that has sparked widespread condemnation from both local and international human rights organizations. Accordingly, to a report by Sahara Reports last Tuesday, Farotimi was apprehended and transported to Ekiti State for allegedly defaming Afe Babalola in his book titled Nigeria and His Criminal Justice System. And so on Wednesday, Farotimi appeared before a magistrate court in Ado Ekiti, where he pleaded not guilty to 16 charges filed against him. The police, however, lodged additional charges to prolong his detention. So, President, presiding magistrate, Abayomi Adeosu 
denied Farotimi bail and ordered his remand at a correctional facility until December 10th, when the case is set for further hearing. Meanwhile, the WikiLeaks cables detailing the 2004 saga involving Babalola, Mubasanjo, and the Court of Appeal decision a part of a truth of classified United States diplomat documents exchanged between embassies worldwide. According to WikiLeaks, the organization released a total of 251,287 diplomatic cables originating from 274 embassies covering the period from December 28, 1966 to February 28, 2010. So guys, how do you see to this matter? It is very obvious that the Nigerian system of government, political system of government, buying and bribing of judges, lawyers, buying case over by politicians never start from today, or rather never start from the present government led by President Bola Tinibu, but it starts from inception. Even in the time of Obasanjo, it was reported that they brought the case over. They used the political influence, presidential influence, to buy the lawyer, buy the court, buy the judge, to settle them, to turn the case over. See what is happening in Nigeria's system of government. Tell me, how will corruption corruption be over? How will uh, embezzlement will be over? How will bribing and corruption will be eluded from Nigerian system of government? So these are all the anomalies. What way will be for Nigeria? Like what people say, some questions that an addish who cost Nigeria this problem? It's a quick question to be answered. Is it a crime for, Niger for a nation to begin to practice democracy? For Nigeria, a case is an exception of bribing and corruption. Can you share your matter in the comment section below? And also do well to share and subscribe to this session. Thank you for your time.